All right, guys, welcome back to another video. We are in Revelstoke, British Columbia today, and uh, I'm taking a uh, third pot training school. It's uh, I maybe have 45 minutes on a sled, and it's a uh, mid to advanced course. So we got Brett here unloading the sleds. We're gonna go on the uh, Stoke. Intermediate and advanced clinic, and you're gonna learn how to snowmobile, dude. <laughs> I've seen how you are on a bike. I think we gotta get you there on a sled. So basically, I got like 45 minutes on a snow machine. Yeah. So you think we can make? Can I get up the mountain? Wow, well, you're on like a factory rig, <laughs> man. I, I'll get you there. All right. All right. Let's see how this guy unloads. He says no ramp unload too. All right, so we got Brett's sled here. This is the one that I'm riding today. Yeah, dude, you get the factory prep rig. So we got the, uh, <clears throat> the CFR bars with the rock seat cover, Arctic effect strap. Uh, I'm working on a different shock package right now. It's not, not quite ready yet, but uh, got the backwoods BMP bumpers, rail braces, and it's a 155 inside of a 146 tunnel. It's a uh, it's an actual party on the snow. It's probably one of my favorite sleds I've ever had. I don't know what any of that means. No. <laughs> and I'm the most, I think the most power I've ever rode is a 350. Nice. This is so a, my, I might rip my arms off today. This is, this is a 900. Yeah. yeah, I might rip my arms. This is a lot of CCs for a 350 guy. Just rolling into Boulder Mountain, BC here. It's time for another clinic and uh, this is gonna be a fun one. I got my good buddy Spencer Wilton in the clinic. This is uh, about the first 20 minutes that he's ever spent on a snowmobile. And uh, he's got himself signed up for this intermediate to advanced clinic. We're gonna go join up with the rest of the guys here. Looks like we might have some visibility up high. We're gonna go shred some snowmobiles. Alright, so we're getting down in here. Turcot's dragging me way back into the middle of nowhere here. I'm sure everybody in the group, they all already know how to sled, but I have absolutely no clue what I'm doing, so we're dropping down into that. Wait, wait, wait. Dropping into that over there. And uh, yeah, hopefully I can make it out, because if not, Brett's gonna have to ride my sled for me. <laughs> we're, we're talking about the triangle right now and it's a, it's a body position that I kind of developed and it just makes sense to explain it this way. Um, when, you, when you're side hilling, you're obviously, if you're playing the differences and the variables in what the snow is doing to you, right? So I could get away with, and you'll hear me say it over and over again, you can get away with moving your foot farther back when the snowpack is hard like that. You actually need it farther back so that you can get the rear suspension to to initiate and get that sled to squat in and grab traction. Spencer's big snowmobile guy now. Winter sports man. Alright, so we're down in this little zone here with uh, the whole crew and uh, we're, I think we're like an hour in and Brett's trying to teach me how to do uh, side hills. So 
working on foot placement and honestly just trying to balance the sled because I've never really dealt with uh, a three, it's like three contact points. I've never really dealt with that before. So, so Brett, he's been picking out everything that I'm doing wrong, which is probably pretty much everything. And uh, we're slowly, we're slowly tuning me into a sled guy. Dude, you're gonna be sled guy by the end of today, I think. <laughs> like, you've been watching you like turn around in the flats and stuff, and you just like commit to getting the sled turned around. They they are kind of like bikes in the sense that like you can turn around in a small circle if you just get it on one ski. You know? Yeah, yeah. So, so honor the days of like keeping it planted and just riding around on the trail. Yep. So I've had three. Do I have three stucks? Oh, what do you call three side hill stucks. Three side there. hill stucks, an hour in, but. I'm slowly starting to work my way um, across the side hills and slowly not getting stuck as much now. It's so. repetition, dude. You know what? I can't wheelie a dirt bike to save my life. So if you can teach me how to sit down wheelie a moto, I'll sit here and teach you a side <laughs> hill all day on a sled. Yeah, dude. All right, let's see what we got here. So I did the Turcot turnover. Let's see how we're looking. All right, Brett's, <laughs> Brett's in the trees over there. And I'm just unwrapping a nice Turcotte turnover from the Eddy. Oh. Well, we just had lunch there. Now we're going to get the boys to do a... Uh, Re-entry exercise or a turnout exercise. I just did a couple there on the test slope. Now we're gonna see if we can get these guys to get turned around in a nice, nice vertical, vertical wall here. <laughs> Feeling this one? I don't know, man. This is a little out of my <laughs> pay grade, maybe. <laughs> I'm gonna give it. I'll give it. I'll give it a go, though. Yeah, just make sure that you commit. Just pull back and look over your shoulder. You don't have to carve into it all at all. Really. No. A little bit, maybe. A little bit, but not a, not a ton. Mm. Spencer's over there getting ready to drop in. I'm standing on the edge of the lip here so I can kind of coach him in. I know he's got this thing. Dude's a badass on a dirt bike. I don't know why he's stressing so much. <laughs> you got it. You got it. Just straddle that center section. There you go. Yeah, Spenny! <laughs> I know you guys all love the sound of these boosts, so how about a minute of raw boost sounds? Go for a little tree shred. <laughs>
Go. guys thanks for uh tuning in this is this is a it was a pleasure to get out with turcott for the last two days and uh participate in one of his clinics uh he gave me the confidence on the sled i i could barely i was scared to go up the trail but uh yeah he took he took the reins and told me what to do and followed the orders and now i think i can i'm claiming myself as a sledder now you're a sledder now dude you're gonna have to park the snow bike dream <laughs> you're a sledder now Hang i was up. so stoked i think I mean, the last line of the day was the most insane for me, and uh, man, it's just going to be seat time now, buddy. Yeah, so I'm headed to Australia. Brett is doing some more clinics, so yeah, Brett, yeah. Where, can they, when they, where can someone find a clinic if they want to sign up? Uh, StokeMountainAdventures.com or BrettTurcott.com. Uh, hit me up on my Instagram page, Turcott16, and uh, subscribe to Spencer's channel, subscribe to my channel. And if you guys want me and Brett to keep the videos coming, collab videos, yeah. let us know. We'll keep them coming. I think for the next video, I'm going to probably have to take Brett out into the hard enduro shit and see, what, see how he can do me. it. You're going to have to give me one of your bikes. Dude, my bike is way too stiff for that. Well, I owe, I owe uh, Brett uh, 300 for two days rental of no charge because yeah. he let me ride his players. So let's make it happen. Yeah, let's do it, dude. We'll come to Cantlips and get nasty. <laughs>